Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're going to take a look at the JT Splatmaster Z300 Sniper. Uh, this is a pump gun or a side pump gun. Shoots a 50 caliber paintball. Uh, shoots about 120 feet or so, so 30 yards. And definitely the velocity that it shoots at is much slower than what your normal 68 caliber paintball would shoot at or paintball gun would shoot at. So I don't recommend taking this gun to your local paintball field and trying to play with people shooting a standard paintball gun. Uh, the velocities are not good uh, and you're just not gonna be able to compete. Your distance is gonna suffer as well. This gun is more designed towards um, shooting in your backyard, shooting at your friends or targets in your backyard. Obviously, you wanna wear the same type of safety equipment that you would anytime you're playing paintball, full face mask, eye protection, and any other paintball uh, protective equipment that you'd like to wear. So let's see what you get in the box. Get a little bag of paintballs, again, 50 caliber paintballs, stock, barrel plug, instruction manual, and the gun itself. So barrel plug, pretty self explanatory, it's gonna go in the front and block the front of your gun so you don't accidentally shoot yourself or anybody else uh, when you don't mean to. 50 caliber paintballs. We'll move the stock over to the side here. We'll start with the feeding mechanism. Feed mechanism is along the side here. This is a spring-loaded system. So when your paintballs are loaded inside, this will help push the paintballs into the gun and load one each time you cock the gun back. So in order to load the gun, you can see that there's a feed breach tab right here. This will not go down unless the spring mechanism is in the open or unlocked position. So once that's back, this will drop down and you can drop the paintballs down inside. That will fill up a chamber right here. Once you've filled up all your paintballs, you're gonna release the spring and the spring is gonna put tension on the balls and push them down into the gun. On the side here, this is your caulking mechanism. So you're gonna fold it open and then load the paintball. So the first step is caulking the gun back. Second step, loading the ball. We got our safety on the back here with the safety in the on position. See the gun doesn't shoot. If I unlock the safety, the gun is ready to go. Uh, interesting fact about the, the cocking feature of this gun is when you cock the gun and close it, if you try to re-cock the gun, it will not cock back. So I try to open this up, it's gonna stick right here. Now if I pulled hard enough, I could probably break it, but it gives you enough resistance so you know that the gun is cocked and loaded and ready to shoot. That will keep double feeding from happening inside the gun and it'll save mess and you won't be chopping paint or breaking paintballs inside there. So we'll shoot that out of there. I'll show you the back side here. This is where your stock is gonna go. Now obviously you don't need to shoot the gun with the stock on it. If you like the sawed off shotgun or no stock version or the look, you could run it that way. But if you did want the stock on there, there is a little tab right here that lifts up. This is basically the locking feature of the stock. So we'll go ahead and put the stock on, lift it up, slide the lock in. Now we're locked in place. So we do have a multi-position stock. If you like to have a, a, a shoulder rest or something to push up against when you're shooting. When you're done and you want to take the stock off, just push the button down and then we can pull the stock off. It's that easy. Stock comes off super easy. So this has been a look at the JT Splatmaster Z300 Sniper. Order yours now at ansgear.com.